quick tutorials. We don't waste time. Using masks and rotoscoping in After Effects. So let's say we have a picture of an awesome force and for whatever reason we want to take a square out of it or cut part of it out or cut it in half or whatever. Make sure your layer is selected, come up here to the rectangle tool and just draw a square over whatever part you want to use. Double click on the outside of the square and you can scale it and move it around to wherever you want. So I've put in a red background to give you guys some perspective on what you're looking at here. The mask is on the layer of the actual photo and the red is the background. So wherever the mask is, it's going to show that area. The mask has a couple options. You can feather the edge so it's not so hard, and if you press on the stopwatch, you can add some animation to where the mask is and how it comes in. I'm not going to sit here and show you how to keyframe. If you want to do that, watch my keyframing video. Make sure that the layer is selected before you want the mask, otherwise you're just going to be drawing a big ass obnoxious red square. The mask has a couple modes. Add is going to show you everything on the inside of the square, and subtract is going to remove everything on the inside of the square. Now for a more realistic application. Let's say we want to replace this old dude's face with mine. So I have my face on a PNG positioned exactly where I want it. I'm going to click on the layer with my face and get the rectangle tool and draw a square next to it. This will create a mask on that layer and the default is set to add. I'm going to click the stopwatch and make an animation so it makes a wipe transition like this. It's pretty cool I guess, but I don't like how hard the line is so I'm going to go back and feather it a little bit so it makes for a nice dissolve. That's pretty much it. Rotoscoping. So my homie's doing this thing for this thing and I don't want the background, I just want him. Lucky for me there's this awesome roto brush tool up in the corner. Rotoscope is extremely simple to use. You go in each frame and paint over the areas you like and After Effects will guess which ones you want to keep. So there's two things I'm going to tell you about roto brushing that will save your life that other videos don't tell you about because they're all retarded. Control and Alt are your best friends. When you first come in here, hold Control and uh, for me it's a trackball so I just roll. But you click and you roll or move your mouse uh, up and down left and right and it'll increase and decrease the size of the brush that you're using. So you're painting along and you know you got some head and some ear and some shoulder. And holy shit, we've got a giant ass red thing right here. Are we stuck with that? No. Hold Alt and you get a red brush and you pretty much draw over the areas that you don't want and it'll delete them for you. So you're constantly going between green and red, painting the areas that you want to keep and you don't want to keep. You tag the ones you like and then when we're done, we go to the next frame. After Effects will assume which areas you want to keep and if you like them, just keep pressing page down and go to the next frame and until you find an area where it starts to warp or it gets something you don't like, you can go in and repaint it on that frame and it'll only adjust from that frame on. Everything that you've kept in the back won't be changed at all. So you can only do this for about 30 frames and you got to start over. When we go back in the sequence, it's only my homie and not the background and we can do whatever we want with it. Never complain about how slow roto brushing is, it's actually very fast. When I first started out, you had to manually export each frame from Premiere in a film strip and go into Photoshop and hand draw a lightsaber or whatever the heck you wanted on each frame. It was miserable, it really sucked, and I don't want to think about it again. My name is Alex Harris, this has been a quick tutorial.